Well, each late night or very early morning to be exact at 1235, you can watch Late Night with Seth Meyers. But today, the host of the show spent some time in Charm City and right here in our studios to talk about his new role. And it turns out the former Saturday Night Live star has been a fan of Baltimore for some time. 11 News reporter Jennifer Franciotti has more. You know, it's funny, but it's just so much preparation. Friendly and down to earth, Seth Myers made the rounds at WBAL to talk about his new show, Late Night with Seth Myers. He was more than happy to answer questions and even take a few pictures. The late night host is settling into his new role, so very different from his Saturday Night Live gig. Myers says he likes being an interviewer. I do. I like it a lot more. That was the one thing that I really didn't have any experience with. Having come from SNL. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I interviewed people on SNL, but they were fictional characters. I always knew what they were going to say. So, it's a lot different being out there with real people, but it's been fun so far. While he admits to missing SNL, Meyer says late night gives him a more flexible schedule and more time with his new wife, who's providing plenty of anecdotes. It's certainly added to my material. My wife is excellent in that she gives me full uh, carte blanche to say whatever I want to about our marriage on <laughs> television, uh, with the understanding that if she disagrees with me, she will let me know about it. <laughs> It turns out while Myers has thousands of fans here in Charm City, he's a huge fan of Baltimore too, thanks to shows like The Wire and Homicide. I, well, I was a huge Homicide Life on the Street fan. Huge. So I was like one of the guys when The Wire came out, like I was, couldn't wait. Like it took a lot of, I was an early adopter of The Wire. Myers says some exciting guests are coming to his show and we should all look for a new mug on his desk. The w, my first WBAL mug. It's right. really exciting. We'll look for that. Soon. You will look for it, yes. It'll be right next to the Stefan uh, nesting doll. <laughs> and I tried, I really did, to get this Steelers fan to love the Ravens. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing but respect for the Ravens. They are a worthy <laughs> adversary, but I would be lying if I told you that's something that's ever going to go on my hand. <laughs> so no go Ravens, but we did get. Go Orioles. That'll do. Jennifer Franciati, WBAL TV 11 News.